So continuing my conversation with agency specialist Bob Weissman, we're talking about something near and dear to my heart, money. So we're talking about money strategies, funding strategies for my agency. What do I need to know here? Okay, Mark. Well, f well f funding can be very difficult and very troublesome f for, for many people. Um, so, you know, needless to say, when you're talking about a service-based agency, mm -hmm. unless you have a specific product or proprietary technology or you're in a specific niche, candidly, you have a pretty low valuation. <laughs> exactly. Okay? So, needless to say, if you're playing, for instance, in the pharmaceutical world or you're a dedicated auto agency or you're a dedicated healthcare agency, that will enhance your valuation. If you have a specific geography, there's plenty of people who may want to have a Philadelphia location mm -hmm. as an example. Okay. okay. That will enhance your, your valuation as well. But for most agencies, they do project-based work. Mm -hmm. And there isn't a whole lot of recurring revenue. Right. And while having a strong client base is important, the query always is, is that relationship built on people and will that pers person or people still be within the agency mm -hmm. if they leave? So there's a lot of different things that go into that scenario right away. What's most important, of course, for any agency is cash. Cash, cash right. is king. Exactly. Cash drives everything. And while it's nice to have a strong P and L. Unless you're really, unless you're raising capital, unless you're selling your company, unless there's something going on, or you're defending a loan, your P and L really is a nice report card, but it's not that important. Right. So what we want to make sure is we have positive cash flow, and our cash flow is minimally enough to cover our payroll mm -hmm. and our fixed expenses for a minimum of three months and hopefully more than that and needless to say a lot of this right, will depends, come down yeah. to your invoicing and your collections process and so forth mm -hmm. but as an agency if you're now saying okay I need money somehow right. well the first thing you need to know is it's going to take a lot longer than than you think it is so, okay so and plan then, ahead <laughs> so plan ahead. and there's a lot of ways to get there but it's going to require you to sit down and write an effective business plan from the beginning, mm -hmm. okay? Now, there's a lot of different ways to get money. Of course, the quickest way is friends and family money. Yep. And while it may be quick, I strongly recommend against that because I don't see the, it the makes benefit. Thanks, it makes Thanksgiving awkward. <laughs> it does. I, you know, I just don't see the benefit of mixing your personal and your professional in mm -hmm. life. And of course, that comes to the next phase. Well, I can go out and get a line of credit mm -hmm. and, or a small business loan, but in most cases, people are going to ask you to personally guarantee it. Right. And if that's the case, again, I don't see putting my personal life in place there. So mm -hmm. while those are probably the two quickest ways to do it, they're probably not the most likely ways. Okay. So now we start to look at things like angel investors. Okay. And the thing that we start to do when we look at angel investors is people who have an expertise or an, in, an interest in a particular field. Mm -hmm. So if we're in pharmaceutical, we might want to talk to doctors as an example, or somebody who knows something about our business. And of course, as we're about ready to raise money, we have to say to ourselves, are we just looking for money? Mm -hmm. or are we looking for people who can advise, help us make sure. connections and so forth? So those things come into play as well. So we go down the path of angel investors. Okay, There are also some early stage investors, people like the Ben Franklin Technology Group here in Pennsylvania funds early stage companies mm -hmm. where revenue, established revenue isn't necessarily important. Okay. But your vision is really important. And mm -hmm. there's other companies like First Round Capital. But again, they're not, they're few and far between. And remember, right. Right. what investors really are looking for is they're looking for recurring revenue. Do right. the dogs eat the dog food? Right. They're they want to know. to make money. Yeah, yeah. Do you have a unique position mm -hmm. in the field? Who are the people in the organization? What have you already established? So getting early stage is you better have a brilliant vision mm -hmm. if you're going to go that route. Going the route of venture capital is candidly extremely difficult unless mm. you're a biotech company or a healthcare company. Okay. okay. Or have a proprietary technology. Mm -hmm. You know, if you have an analytics tool or something like that, you might get there. I typically recommend against venture capital because I just think it's it's awful it's time consuming. It's, it's awful best, time yeah. consuming. Yeah. So 
again, going back to the beginning, the most important thing is that you have an effective business plan mm -hmm. and you're able to articulate your vision and support your vision with your numbers. And that really is how people get money. Excellent. Well, you know, it, we all need money to make money. And so these are some great strategies. And obviously you're here to help people if they want to now take these general concepts and apply them to what's going to fit for their agency. So speak to agency specialist, Bob Weissman. Thanks, Mark.